It's confident computing number 842. How do I decrypt files encrypted by ransomware? Hello everyone and welcome to the first video summary of my weekly emailed newsletter, Confident Computing for 2021. I hope the year is going well for you. If you're not getting Confident Computing in your email inbox, visit askleo.com newsletter and sign up today. Our featured article this week is actually a very common situation that unfortunately too many people find themselves in. They, for whatever reason, have their machine infected with malware that happens to be ransomware and all of a sudden they realize that the files they care about have all been encrypted and are no longer accessible. Unfortunately, the news is typically not good, but this week's featured article does try to answer the question, how do I recover files that have been encrypted by ransomware? Also this week, changing your browser's homepage. It's a simple thing, not many people do it, it appears, and sometimes they get frustrated when it gets done for them without their permission. How do I change my browser's homepage covers the steps you need to take in Google Chrome, Microsoft Edge, and Mozilla Firefox. Cookies, no, not the edible kind, the browser kind. What are they, how do they work, and how do I delete them, or should I? Much like many email providers, Microsoft will indeed close your email account if you don't log into it often enough. The good news is that logging into a number of different Microsoft services using that same email address is sufficient. In fact, logging into your PC with it as a Microsoft account should be fine. But if you've got an old Hotmail address lying around that you haven't checked into for a couple of years, you might want to check into it again. Two years is, in fact, the time limit, and if that passes without you logging in, your account could be gone. And finally this week, I do take a quick look back at the most popular, most commented on articles and videos for 2020. I always find it an interesting insight into what was happening in technology that affected, well, real people, rather than what the press and the pundits might have you believe. The good news is that things are kind of returning to normal. In prior years, we might have had a theme like everybody being upset with Windows 10. This year, things are more evenly distributed across a number of different topics, topics that for a lot of people will sound very, very familiar. This week on the TEH podcast, Gary and I wrap up 2020 with our guest, Kay Savitz. We sit down, we take a look at what some of the top news stories were for us in 2020, and we make a few predictions about 2021. All that in TEH number 122. Again, welcome to 2021. We made it. I hope it is a good year for all of us. Certainly hope that it is better than 2020. Until next week, I'm Leo Notenboom, and this is AskLeo.com. Take care.